And Comic-Con has partnered with a blood drive every year since 1976. Thousands of visitors came over the last few days before heading to the event. ABC 10 News reporter Perla Shaheen spoke to donors at the Grand Hyatt downtown to learn more about the tradition. When you think of Comic-Con, you probably think of the cosplay, the booths, and the collectible items. Seeing Spider-Man give blood next to SpongeBob SquarePants, it's always exciting. But the annual blood drive is also a memorable part of the event. This is kind of one of our traditions is to come and do the blood drive at Comic-Con as well. It started 47 years ago with an American science fiction writer named Robert A. Heinlein. He ended up with an illness that required him to get blood transfusions. So when he was asked to come to Comic-Con in the 70s, he said, I'll come, but you have to have a blood drive. I'll only <laughs> sign autographs for blood donors. And 47 years later, here we are. Now, thousands show up in their costumes coming from all over the world. Australia, New Zealand, England, UK, and of course, all over the United States. To give back to the San Diego community. The blood goes to the uh, hospitals close around here, especially Children's Hospital. My wife and I have donated blood in the past. Just see it as, you know, like a good civic responsibility, sort of. Just something good to do. It's a mindset most donors have especially those heading to Comic-Con. It's a perfect partnership with San Diego Blood Bank because everybody wants to be a superhero and this is like a very easy way to be a superhero. They are superheroes. Organizers say in total, this event has benefited more than 188,000 lives. Perla Shaheen, ABC 10 News.